I spent years creating content. I reviewed different products, different software as well. Well, when it comes to PDF files, I found one and it's my go-to solution now, and that's called PDF Agile. And today I'm gonna walk you through and show you how great it is. We're talking about the confidentiality so you don't have to worry about someone's material being leaked. For example, we're talking about the immense amount of editing capabilities so don't go anywhere jump in the link in the description and get ready to follow along for anything that you need to do with a pdf file downloading and installing it is super simple all you need is a email account create your password and install it and there you go so try for free in the link in the description so here you're looking at pdf a agile now when we're looking at this i always want to say agile but it's agile right so uh when you're looking at it it's very very easy very very simple to kind of manage right so here's like the thumbnail that's going on now this what you're looking at here is just like the sample uh and i'm going to use a sample to kind of show you what's going on right so uh even just by clicking you can kind of go ahead and we'll edit the text that you want to do right just like that um and we can just go ahead and delete that yeah, PDF. Welcome to PDF Agile. And here, if you want the eraser, you just click on the eraser and you can select what you want to have deleted, just like that. All right, and the batch eraser, which is really big, and even a watermark. So you can you can create a custom watermark. Now that's really good when you're trying to create some kind of material. Perhaps you're writing an ebook, you create the PDF file, but you don't want it to really be oh, stolen, right? Well, here you can create that as well. Uh, keep top secret. Now we can just add this one uh, as well. You can update the watermark. You can remove the watermark, uh, for example, as well. And you can kind of see uh, this as well. So we can add the watermark to it. And we added the oh, keep secret watermark. The erasers are important, right? So for me, like maybe you've, uh, you found something, but you want to make some edits. Here you can do it. So here, when you click down on the eraser, you can create the theme color. Uh, for example, even with black. Uh, you could do it this way. You just black it out, right? So you can do it that way or white or whatever color. So if the background's black, of course, you would select the eraser for black, which is really, really handy because how many times I fumbled around really trying to uh, create that. So there's a lot of different tools to do. Now, if you wanted to add a signature as well, you can create your own custom signature. Of course, your basic stuff like your headers and your footers, you can insert that, you can update it, right? Your sizes, your organ, uh, you can organize the pages as well, which is really, really handy. You can split the pages. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you can merge the PDF. You can split it even. So if you want to split, you can just kind of split. Uh, here, you can split, merge, encrypt, extract some pages as well, and even extract an image from this. So if we extract images, uh, we would just select the PDF here, and we're going to select extract and it's extracting succeeded and right so you can see right uh here and you can open the file so we're going to open up that and now we have the extracted images uh that's coming from it i'm just going to close out of that so you can if you have that photo maybe from a different pdf file that you've created before but you want to use it maybe you've deleted something that's where that's going to really be really really handy uh as well uh let me just reopen this one and there we go and i don't want to save it and here you can like click on the thumbnail, you can lower it, right? You can you do the annotations, uh, you can search and replace for you as well. So that way you're kind of jumping into it. So a lot of the tools are awesome uh, that you can see. Now, let's talk about the PDF conversions, right? So we have PDF to Word, Excel, we can put it into an image as well uh, to CAD, PPT. So a PowerPoint as well, and you can merge and split as I told you earlier as well. So those that's very, very handy. JPEG, PNG as well, even DWJ. It's very helpful to have all of these uh, in one single place. So um, now one of the big things for me too is that everything stays local on my computer. So that way it never asks me to store it on the cloud, for example, which can be very, very annoying. Uh, and that's very, very important specifically because if I'm speaking with a client, that way the files or their personal projects, I don't have to worry about confidentiality about that. So uh, I really appreciate that level of control that PDF Agile gives me. So uh, we were talking about uh, the scrolling is very smooth with it as well. So especially with a very image heavy PDF file, uh, that's going to uh, be very handy 
uh, for you as well instead of that choppiness, right? So, um, so if you're looking for a way to take control of your PDFs for your everyday task and to make that easier, I really encourage you to use PDF Agile right now, especially if you want to experience that flexibility, the speed for it as well, and most of all, the ease for use for everyone. So you're going to really wonder why you haven't switched sooner. So go ahead and link, link in the description below and start creating that PDF file a whole lot easier today.